as an Amazon seller, I will try and find every possible shortcut to speed up the business, to make more money and to make my life easier. And just let me tell you, this is the video you guys have been waiting for. It is going to be the best video that I probably have on my channel or that I have made in a while. It is just going to be mind blowing. This, this tool that I'm about to review is going to be insane. So as you know, I have reviewed a few tools in the past. I've reviewed stuff like AMZ Scout, Jungle Scout, Helium 10. Now those are really good tools. Like they're really good tools, they are. However, I've just been told about another tool and this tool is called Zon Guru. Okay, and I know this the name might sound a bit weird to some of you, but I've just started researching this tool Zon Guru and I don't know how to put this into words, but I, I'm genuinely blown away. I usually, whenever anyone asks, I say, you don't need to buy a tool. You can just do it all manually. You can have success. If you want to buy a tool, then so be it. But after using this tool, it literally puts me in a position where I'm just like, you have got to use this tool. You've just got to use it. And I told Josh about it and he is addicted to this tool now. It's just brilliant. So keep watching this video, keep watching the entire thing because I'm telling you, you're going to absolutely love it. So I want to do an in-depth review of this tool. And in this video, I'm going to focus just on the product research part of it because I feel that's where most of my subscribers and most of my viewers are up to. But this tool does a lot more than that. It does so much more after actually launching a product on Amazon, but I'm not going to go into that bit. Like I said, I'm just going to go into the product research bit of it. Now here's, here's the funny part. To make sure these tools are accurate, right? Everyone sends me their tools. Everyone's like, oh, can you review this? Can you review that? Now to make sure the tool is actually accurate, I usually, well, I always put my product into that tool because obviously I know my stats. I can see them on my Amazon account. I know exactly what I'm selling, what I'm doing. So I always put my product into the tool. That's the first thing I do. And 99% of the tools come back so inaccurate, including Jungle Scout, including all of these tools. They're so inaccurate of, what's actually going on and I put it into this tool and holy shit, I was completely like I was like what how the hell do you have this information on me it was insane it was so precise it's like not even normal and that is what led me to be like I'm 100% doing a, a review on this video on this tool I have to right I just have to because usually I'll say no and most of the time yeah I do say no but occasionally there's just one that really sticks out and that's why I just had to do this. So I've got my notes on my computer because this tool is a lot to handle, there's a lot going on in there. So this is the actual tool, Zonguru's up here. You've got badges that just really help you get along with stuff, it motivates you. So what we're gonna focus on is Chrome extension, Sales Spy, Love and Hate, Keywords on Fire, Keyword Spotlight and Listing Optimizer. Now obviously it's got all these other things, business dashboard, your products, your orders, keyword tracker, product monitor, IP monitor, email automator, that's a good one and you can just get support and you can watch all the stuff, right? You've got help everywhere. I just wanna say keywords on fire. Now that's the, one of the sections I'm gonna go through is probably the most powerful part of this tool and the most powerful tool I have ever used in my entire life. So definitely stay tuned at least until that section, watch that part of the video because I'm telling you, it will blow your brain clean out. I'm like completely blow your brains out. And I'm gonna have timestamps right here, okay? All the timestamps are gonna be up here for when I'm talking about the Chrome extension, when I'm talking about the sales spy, when I'm talking about the love-hate section, when I'm talking about the keywords on fire, keyword spotlight, and lip listing optimizer. They're all there for you. So let's start with the simple Chrome extension. Let's search something that I've actually, I, I've actually done a video on before and I kind of, I kind of know in the UK it's a good product, but I don't know if it's a good product in the US because all of this is based in the US. So let's put in back brace. So what happens is it will pop up from the bottom. As you can see here, it pops up over here. So you just click this and then this will load. Once this is loaded, I'll explain what everything is. So this is the tool. Now you're probably thinking this is very similar to Jungle Scout to AMC Scout. And this part of the tool is in fact very, very similar. The only difference between this and the other tools is the numbers are so insanely accurate, it's not normal. But this is basically the tool. I'm gonna go through what all of these things mean, and then we're going to talk about the sales spy, okay? So let's just start with this fancy rainbow thing. Well, this is this determines the buyer demand, the competition opportunity, the investment sweet spot, and the revenue potential, okay? So 
actually this seems pretty good except for the competition opportunity it's, it's quite it's 12 percent, so that's quite bad so you've got all the products here all right now obviously this shows the brand the category the price the sales the revenue and this is revenue based per month and I usually, with every other video I've made and every other tool I've made, I've always said forget the revenue, it's probably not true. But this tool has actually been very accurate, so I wouldn't even say forget the revenue here. And then you've got the rank, so where is the best seller, the reviews, the rating, so out of five star, what their reviews equal up to, the listing score, so the, the quality of the listing out of 10, so 10 being really, really high. Who is the seller, Amazon, FBA, or the merchant fulfilled, fulfilled by merchant, and then the name of the seller, who the seller is, and then sales spy. So you can add this to your sales spy, which is going to be over here. Okay, but we're not talking about that just yet. So let's go over some of these numbers. Well, one number that I absolutely love on this entire thing is the launch budget, okay? Now let's read what they say launch budget is. Well, this is the recommended budget estimated required to launch a similar product and get it to the page one for this search term. So the search term is back brace, probably the most popular search term. The estimated is based on the COGS as 30% of sales price and enough inventory for three months of organic page one sales volume. So we can see if they're getting 7,318 sales per month right here on the top page, that's what we're probably going to have to do. And this $20,000 takes that into account. So this $20,000 takes into account the first order, the second order, the third order, however many orders for three months worth of inventory. Okay, and it takes into account everything, like the entire launch. And that is why I'm, it's just, it, no one has done that. And that is so smart because one thing for a new person selling on Amazon is how much will it cost me to start with this particular product? And this is a great, great starting point here, this number. So obviously you don't have to take this number head on what it says because you could probably get sales on page two and page three as well. This is just to get to page one and actually be competing for this main keyword. There are so many keywords. If you put in back brace for men, the launch budget might be a bit lower. Let's have a look. Well, actually, funny enough, the launch budget is even higher. Okay, so that's really interesting to see. So you can try this out with so many different keywords and find out which keywords are easy to compete with. Now, that's just one way. We're going to talk about keywords and finding out how easy it is to compete and how you don't have to worry about competition a bit later on with the keywords on fire section. Okay, for now, let's just continue going through. So you've got the monthly sales, you've got the search volume of this keyword. So that's how many searches it gets per month. You've got the monthly sales, the average number of sales, the average price, the average reviews, all of this stuff, the monthly revenue. So you, you, all, you know all of this stuff, right? I don't need to explain to you this tool. This is a very basic part of the tool and, and you know this because you've probably used Jungle Scout, you've probably used AMZ Scout. So we're gonna move on from this and go straight to the next section. And this is where it's starting to get a bit interesting because no one else is offering these other tools. Right, so Sales Spy is a really cool tool that allows you to put the ASIN in and it will give you the amount of sales per day, the sorry, the amount of sales per month, the amount of then, then sales spy is just brilliant. Okay, the, so what you would do with this is you would put the ASIN in of any product that you are potentially interested in selling and you would track it over a period of time. Okay, so you can see, for example, that this wallet is getting 55 sales a month, 1.9 a day. This is the revenue and this is the estimated profit and these are the reviews and you can also track it over time, okay? BSR, sales and revenue. Likewise with this product, you can see it's getting 29,800 a month, 995 a day, revenue, profits, selling price, reviews, and then you can track it over time. Now, this is great because for example, if you're here, you can just quickly add things to your sales buy that you want to be tracking. So let's say you want to track these three. Right, you can go here and then let's refresh. And you can see how they just show up here, right? So this is a great way to really track it. Now this is showing zero because it probably just hasn't fully loaded yet. I refreshed it straight away. But this is just a great way to track your competition over a period of time. Let's go to the love hate section. This section is so cool. And the reason I love it so much is because me and Josh did this manually for all of our products and it took us such a long time. You would not even believe how long this took us. So while that's working, I'm gonna just show you one that I, I have already searched for, which is knee brace, right? So what you do is you'll add the ASIN and you'll create a session. And once you click this I, 
it will show it will give you this page and let me just explain this page to you i had no idea how they've got all this information because it's scary how accurate and how amazing this is but let me just quickly tell you and by the way i'm trying to make an unbiased review here i'm going to be honest with you i'm trying to make an unbiased review but i'm finding it really hard you have got okay these are keywords based on the reviews so these are all the good reviews and these are all the bad reviews okay so for example you can go around and you can click size small so there are 10 reviews over here that talks about the size being small okay so most got a smaller size so i got a medium one size down still not enough compression okay let's go ice pack right i'm thinking ice pack there's 15 bad reviews around the ice pack and why do you care about other people's bad reviews because you can see where to go better where you can differentiate and how you can outsell your competition because you'll focus on those bad reviews and actually make your product superior right, rather than inferior to it. So this says the wrap comes with three ice packs. So it sounds like these ice packs are actually a gift, like an extra added item, but these added items is actually getting this product so many bad reviews, right? So it's saying the ice packs that come with are horrible, ice packs replaced because they broke. This one, ice packs ripped open, ice packs in the front, horizontal stop behind the knee, um, difficult. This doesn't actually say anything bad about the ice pack. Right, so you see what I'm saying here, right? There's going to be more reviews as well. Right, there's all these reviews. Ice packs are poor due to how fragile they are. Ice packs get wet from condensation. Ice packs do not stay cold for very long, about 15 minutes, ice packs in this wrap last. So you see what I'm saying? So these people have tried to add an ice pack in as like an extra thing to differentiate themselves, but they've added such a bad product, they're actually not doing very well. So you could probably go in and add a very good ice pack, right? And you could have that in your description, your bullets. You could say, this ice pack is superior to other ice packs that are being offered with knee braces, blah, 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 whatever you want to do. And then you can see what people are liking as well. So there's 225 people liking the ice packs as well, which is very good, obviously. And then you've got knee replacement, compression sleeve, knee sleeve. And you can just go and you say, I'm, I'm too close to a knee replacement, so this brace was too late. So you can also, this is a brilliant way to see who the target market is. Who are your buyers going to be? Well, knee injury, knee replacement, bad knees, knee problem. These are the kind of things. So you can click this, knee surgery. You can kind of click this, read people's reviews that and see why they are buying this knee brace. So you know who your customer is, what their pain points are. So when it comes to writing your description, you can pretty much see exactly what's going on. And this is what me and Josh did. We did this with all of our products. We went through all the reviews, good and bad, and that's how we were able to write such compelling descriptions. But it took us, so it took us days because it, it's, it's a long time to, to go through everyone's reviews, especially of multiple products. But this literally, you can see, you can click one, you can even search, you can exclude, and it's just ridiculous. Like, I'm annoyed I didn't have this because it's so quick. I can just quickly go and see. They keep all the shape, they help with my knee problems, and this tells what the knee problem is. And it's just brilliant, okay? Absolutely brilliant. So that is the love-hate section, and that's the initial product research section. The listing optimization section, we are also going to use as product research because you can, but that's the uh, an, um, original product research section. And just let me know in the comments if you're already like blown away by what this tool can do, because. This love-hate section alone is, is pretty much worth the entire tool. I would happily buy a tool that just had that section, but of course it's got extra. And let's go to keywords on fire. So you can see I've already loaded back brace because I wanted to make it as quick as possible. Now what you would do is you would add product, let's say by phrase, so we do, let's do umbrella just for argument's sake. It will show you the top 25. You would select all and you would click add products, right? And then you give it a name and you click run keyword analysis, right? And here you can see 407 unique keywords, 625,000 total search volume and a total revenue of 6.2 million. So let's click the I and now don't be overwhelmed. Don't go off the video because you think this is super confusing. I'm going to explain what this is. It took me a while to learn it and this is the main part of this tool. This is the main part of the video. This is not something you wanna be missing because this literally will blow you away. What is this doing? Well, this is taking that competition and it is, there's, there's 25 people and it is breaking it down into what keywords they are using to actually rank. And you can see all these keywords. 
and why is this so powerful? Because the number one thing to get sales on Amazon is to rank for as many keywords as possible. And some keywords are harder than other keywords to rank for. So you've got this Zonguru score. I'm gonna go through all of these things first, and then I'm going to explain why it's so good. So you've got the Zonguru score. It's there to tell you the overall value if you put this keyword in your listing. So this has got a full score of 100, which means you have 100% have got to put this in your listing because this is a very valuable keyword. So what's this one? So this is estimated combined monthly revenue that this keyword is driving from listings ranking in the top 25. So that's actually really cool because <clears throat> in the top 25, they are earning that, okay? And then the search volume is 18,545. And this is the monthly searches for this exact keyword on Amazon. Again, no other tool really gives you such an accurate monthly search volume. I asked him how they did it as well. And he said to me, well, they've become verified within Amazon. They've become a partner. And that's how they're able to get all this information. And I just, it blows me away. Right, what is top 25 competition? This is so cool. This is the number of competitors that rank in the top 25 for this keyword. So of the top competitors, only 12 are ranking for this keyword. Of 25, that means there are 13 people not ranking. That leaves you a lot of space. And as you go down, you can see seven are here, only seven. This one's got six, right? This one's got four. Lower back pin relief, only four people on the top 25 are ranking for this keyword and it's getting five and a half thousand searches per month. All right, oh my gosh, this is insane. Okay, so let's just go back. Units is, this is the average number of units sold per month for listings ranked in the top 25, okay? Reviews, this is the average number of reviews for listings ranked in the top 25 just for this keyword, right? This is the average price. The percent of listings that have included the keyword in their title. So you can see 96% of people have included back support in their title, but here only 20% have included back, back braces for lower back pain in their title. But look how valuable this is. 271,000 search volume is even more than back support. That's crazy. Right, top three keywords. Now, this is a combined monthly revenue for the top three listings that occur as a result of ranking for this keyword. Look at this number. Of the 183, thousand dollars right for the top 25 for this keyword back support the top three are sharing eighty thousand dollars if you got into the top three you would be in that part of it how insane is that right and now this is this is even better i don't know how they've done it but top three clicks this is the percentage of people that when search for this term click one of the top three listings right? Nearly half the people that search this term will click one of the top three listings. Do you see why it's so important, so important for you to get to the top three? Because they literally, look at this one, 83% of people. Now, why is this number so important? Well, if you find a number that's very low, it means it's shared between everyone a bit more. So for example, let's find a number very low. So most people want to click the top three, right? But up here we had a 54%, right? So or here we've got a 39%. So for back brace, only 39% of people are actually clicking the top three listing, which means if you're four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10 in the ranking, you might still get quite a few clicks because it's a bit more evenly spread out. For things that are closer to 100%, you know that the top three listings are crushing it. But then again, you should try and get to the top three. That's your aim, isn't it? Right, so now let's go through, okay, so you can see here, this is, I've selected one keyword, okay, so it gives me all the information up here, right? Obviously, I can I'm, I can select two keywords, right? And it will tell me the averages. But if I do these three, you can see it starts telling me the averages, the competitors, 17, the unique keywords, three, total revenue, and total search volume. So this tool, this area, this keywords on fire part, this is... This makes me happy just knowing the search volume. The fact that I'm able to know my top 25 competitions, where they are, if they are even in this, right? You can click them and you can see which ones they are, right? That alone is just mind blowing. And then the number of units sold for this keyword. So this is another great thing because you can see if I start targeting this keyword and I get into the top three, I'm probably going to start selling a lot. The reviews is very useful. The price is useful. The, this is very, very useful. The, the keyword title, if they've got it in their title, because you can see they don't have it in their title, they don't have this in their title. 20% of people only, don't, back brace. Back braces is such a basic, basic thing, right? 
um, okay, this is mad, this is crazy. Only 20% of people. Um, and then you've got the top three, this just, oh my gosh. Okay, so do you realize, are you, are you seeing why I fell in love with this tool? Are you seeing why it's just so insane, right? How, let me know in the comments if you just think, just this section of the tool is just mind blowing, all right? Mind blowing, all right? Let's move on to the next section because I can talk about this section all day but I feel like you're ready to move on to the next section. And that is keywords spotlight. Right, now this, I've already put a product in here because I had it in already. So what you do is you'd put, you'd find the ASIN of a product and you'd put it in and you'd click pull ASIN, right? Now this will just give you a bit more information on the product so it will tell you the bullets, it will give you the back-end search terms and the back-end keywords. So that usually goes here, this guy might not have any back-end stuff going on and that kind of makes sense because it's just, it's a blender bottle, it's, it's their make, that's how they're making most of their money. But this just allows you to spy on your competitors just a bit more. There's not really much to this part, to be honest. So let's go over to the listing optimizer. This is a super cool tool because what you can do is you can put keywords in here like back brace and then you can see how this updates 460,000. And why it says zero is because I haven't actually pulled an ASIN. But once I pull an ASIN, it will give me the title, the description, the bullets, the search term, the subject matter. This is all the back end stuff. And it will tell me what amount of money they are making from this share and the combined search they get from this and their optimization score. It's, oh, guys, guys, it's, this is insane. The amount of information, I've never, never done this with a tool, the amount of information. So there you have it pretty much, the Chrome extension, the sales spy, the love hate, keywords on fire, which was, like I said, the best part of this, the keyword spotlight, which was pretty good. And then the listing optimizer, this is also a very, very good part of the tool. I really hope you like this video, I hope you like this tool. It's just, in my mind, it's a brilliant tool. And if you are interested in getting it, yes, obviously, as you know, I will have a link down below and it is an affiliate link because this is how I make money with these kind of videos is I will review something and if I like it, I'll only review what I like and then I'll have an affiliate deal. So there's actually a special offer on this where you can sign up for $1 for the first month. So you can use entire suite of tools just for $1. So that's a a steal in itself. So hit the first link in the description. And again, I hope by now you know that I wouldn't just go and make a video for the money because I want that money. I don't really do YouTube for money, you know I don't. I just wanted to make this video because I genuinely really liked this tool, Zon Guru. I just thought it was really, really good. And if I didn't think it was good, I'd be honest with you. If there were parts that weren't working, I'd be honest with you. But I think it's genuinely really, really good tool. So. If you are interested in buying a tool, give it a go, hit the link in the description, and hopefully, if you if you like it, then you will just, you know what, if you, if you go and take this, if you go and use this tool, let me know in the comments, and tell me what you think of it, because to be honest, I've only ever really shown it to Josh, and Josh has just been blown away by it, so I wanna kinda see what your reaction is, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video.